yes. First step is cleaning your goat meat. Now, if you're not familiar with goat, it does have quite a bit of a smell, especially if it's fresh and not frozen. So we use vinegar, white vinegar, to clean it. Some people use a little bit of lime, but I think white vinegar is just fine as well because I didn't have lime, so we had to make do. But more so, you want to take that smell out that comes with cooking goat. So this helps a lot with that. So white vinegar and lime. And I'm just swooshing it around here with my fingers. After you swoosh it around and you think that you've done a good job, just draining out that bowl of all the excess vinegar so we can get to the next step, which is the seasoning. Remember when I told you this curry goat recipe was as easy as one, two, three? Here it is, one, two, three seasonings. My green seasoning, which I showed you all in the previous video, my curry, and a little seasoning salt. And here we are, just marinating that meat in another pot. I'm adding just dollops of green seasoning here, taking a big old spoon and just mashing it up, just mixing it up so all of the pieces of goat are well marinated. And for this recipe, I probably used about, about two pounds, maybe two and a half of goat meat. All of the details for this recipe will be listed at thebeautyintheeats.com. I will leave the link below for you. Our next step is my favorite just because I love that yellow curry. Curry is one of my favorite seasonings. I do consider myself a curry queen. I was addicted to it ever since I had curry chicken for the first time. And curry goat is just as delicious. We go ahead and we add a generous, generous amount of beautiful yellow curry. And we just continue marinating and mushing it with that same spoon. And here's the third step. Add in a generous amount of seasoning salt. And you definitely will need that seasoning salt for this curry. It's going to be so fabulous. Like you're going to love how easy this recipe is. If you're bold enough to try this at home, you want something new or you're looking for a new way to make one of your favorite Caribbean dishes, this is definitely it. On to our next step here, which is actually cooking the curry goat, which is actually the easiest part of the process if you have a slow cooker. Since I did use fresh goat leg, I feel like that's a more tender part of the goat meat. So this cooks really well when it's slow and gives you that tender, beautiful taste. If you don't have a slow cooker, put it in a baking dish, put it on 250 to 300 and cook it low and slow in your oven. Meanwhile, I love slow cooker cooking, so if you have a slow cooker, I feel like that's the best way to go. Throw it in your pot, add a little water, make sure you mush the goat meat around in the pot a little bit, and then you just put it on low and you let that bad boy cook for about two hours. Now, here I am. I was probably at about an hour and a half here when I decided, hmm, this gravy is looking good. I'm gonna take some whole potatoes that I had in the can. If you have fresh potatoes, that's fine. If you don't, this is fine too. I went and put my whole potatoes in here at an hour and a half. Since these whole potatoes are pretty much already preserved and moist, I didn't feel like I needed to cook them for over 30 minutes. So that's why the hour and a half mark or hour and 45 minutes mark is perfect to throw in these potatoes, put that lid back on that slow cooker, and you have beautiful curry goat and potatoes. Now, I'm gonna show you all how to make a good plate of beautiful curry goat meat to serve to give it to you, man, to get that Gucci bag. I'm trying to tell you. So all I did was put some white rice I had already made and put it in a cup and I just mush it and mush it and mush it till I get a beautiful formation in that cup. And then I just place that on the plate, kind of knock the rice out of the cup so that I get a really nice shape. You can use a bowl too if you have a bowl that fits the amount of rice and things that you have. 
curry goat is a dish that is traditionally served with white rice. Um, you can use rice and peas if you want to, but white rice is just the traditional rice that goes with it. I personally love me some rice and peas though, but white rice it is today. I'm gonna take a good spoonful of that curry goat meat and oh look at it look it's so fun as I put it on that plate my god it's so fire look at that gravy just looking delectable Ooh, make you want to jump through the screen don't it I know and make sure you get a nice little potato too and show them that you cook this with love drip a little bit of that gravy on top of the rice too make the plate really pretty. I'm really big on having a pretty plate. I feel like just because I'm eating at home doesn't mean that I can't look like I'm eating at a restaurant. I know a couple of Jamaican restaurants that always put parsley flakes on all the plates just so you have that pretty little chef-like greening. I just think it's a beautiful touch to have a beautiful plate. When I took a few twigs of thyme to serve and put that on top of my rice for a little bit more green so it looks really pretty in pictures. I hope you guys really like this recipe. You can always check out the details and ask me questions or comments below. I love interacting with you guys on social media. You already know this. I love you guys going to the Beauty and the Eats to get all of the details on this and I really hope you enjoy.